I'm Darren. I'm Derek. And this, this is the Double D Podcast. Podcast. You don't sound so happy. Nah, I'm just fucking around. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying, what was so, what was so? Are you not looking forward to this? <laughs> no, this is just, just fucking around, man. It's fun. <laughs> Oh shit. <laughs> you got me, I don't know, it won't show on the video either because I was just looking at you. Like, <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the Double D Podcast. Dude, if we came out here and did that, this is a Double D Podcast. If you like our podcast, <laughs> please like it. Please subscribe to it. Please. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. This is our first non wrestling related um, podcast in a couple weeks. So don't hate us, YouTube. <laughs> yeah, don't we will get back to wrestling. At After point. this one, <laughs> I'm sure. Well, I mean, at some point, we sure, I'm sure we will, you know, but we're doing something a little bit different today. Oh, yeah. And we've done food challenges before. We've done the hot, the poppy one chip challenge. That we, we did that on our actual podcast. On the audio. Itself. That's not a video yet. Yeah, not a video. Yet. Well, who knows what it, we're going to come up with It could future. be a future thing. But we did the 2 million Scoville. Well, no, we did the almond. We did the almond one. We did the carrot. Yeah, we did the one. The one chip. The the almonds, which were like like a little five minute thing we did at the beginning. Yeah. And then we did the Arby's. Yes. Well, I forgot about that one. We did the pizza video. Yeah. And then now we have this one. Yes. It's a little bit different. So I I thought I mean, the food ones are I like the food ones. Let us know what you guys think of the food ones, or and even the spicy food ones. Yeah. You know we always need always need new ideas. You want to see me freak out because my mouth's fucking on fire? Like it up. One of the funny, one, that's one of my favorites is the Diablo sandwich because I remember when I looked over at you and you were crying. <laughs> oh, dude, I, I almost vomited that one. That one was, yeah, you did. That, that was bad. There was a couple, like, three, four week span where you almost threw up on each episode. And I was like, well, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I almost like, had a weak stomach that time. I don't know what's going on. This one is food, food related. If you're watching the video version, you can see the sign there. It says M R E. That is not another wrestling company. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. This is Meals Ready to Eat. You know what those are? Do you want to show him? Show him the... the oh, I can. Meals yeah, sure. Ready to Eat. I oh, sure, sure can. At least close to you. <laughs> I can blame them. I got forks. I don't know if that's what you use. Yeah, we'll, we'll or if it's... We weren't sure. I know they come with some indestructible sporks, and we'll test that if they do have sporks. Yeah, we didn't know it came in. Apparently, you can bend the sporks in half, and they won't break. Here's some meals ready to eat. We'll get a we'll get a closer up here in a minute, but for now this is what we'll, we'll go with. Which one do you want? We got two here. Um, we got uh, beef goulash, which is beef with brown rice, spinach, carrots, tomatoes, and smoked paprika. Or you have pork sausage and cream gravy. Goulash. Okay. That's, I was hoping you'd choose that one. If I'm not to be honest with you. That sounds good as fuck. I was gonna say that's all when I was. It's not that I didn't I think it sounded good, but uh. Yeah, yeah that's, just, that sounded really good. So real quick, we'll just kind of explain to some people here. So meals, like I said, the MREs are meals ready to eat. And they are a self-contained individual field ration and lightweight packaging bought by the United States Department of Defense for its service members. So a lot of the times the use goes with soldiers. Now, I understand why they have this because, you know, if you're in a war zone, you can't have people cooking. No. Makes sense. It's uh, extra cost and it's dangerous. Of course, and you know, I mean, if you're in the middle of Afghanistan or something, how are you going to eat? You don't have, you know, you don't have, you know, it just makes sense. I understand why. However, well, well I'll, I'll mention that later. But these were like really popular in like Vietnam, of course, um, in every war. I think it's been like since the Civil War, if I'm not wrong. They don't have to be. The good thing is these don't have to be refrigerated. Although they're supposed to be kept cool, it does not have to be refrigerated. You know, so you can eat it. And, you're, and you don't have to microwave it, no cooking involved, you just open it up and eat it. Well, uh, some of them some of them have like little heat packets. Some of them do have heat packets, that is right. But but you don't have to actually cook, no cooking. No, involved. yeah, no cooking. You can warm it up, but you don't got to actually physically cook it. Right, these are, yes, these, these it's, it's actually really, it says right here, flameless ra ration heaters are prohibited on commercial air airlines. That's something completely different. <laughs> commercial airlines. Well, yeah, you can't have fucking flame on commercial airlines. Are you high? <laughs> my bad. My bad. I, I thought that had something to do with it. I should have read this. <laughs> Probably. We got this. Had this from my grandpa. He made the joke. He said, "This is what you guys should be eating if you went the right way." And hey. <laughs> so we're eating them. I mean, I figure you know. Is that hints we should have went to the military? <laughs> I think so. Yeah. And, he's a he's a Vietnam vet, you know. And, and usually, usually, these, usually these guys come with like. Like some type of treat 
inside them too. Right? It's like a chocolate bar or something. Remember when we went to Dunham's a couple of weeks ago and we were looking around and we found that uh, dehydrated ice cream bar? Oh, ice yeah. Ice cream sandwich. And you, I, was, I wanted to buy it, and you were just like, no. There's no crunch, dude. You can't have crunch in an ice cream sandwich. I gotta admit, that it just didn't, right. didn't sound It didn't sound like it would be very It was good. like eight bucks for one. No, yeah. <laughs> now, those weren't the same as MREs, but they were like for hiking and stuff. It, it was freeze-dried. You know, freeze-dried. Yeah, yes. it was freeze-dried, so that means it was fucking... It was an ice cream sandwich put in a freeze-dryer, which would make a fucking crunchier shit. You can't have a crunchy ice cream sandwich. No, I agree. That just ain't right. I was not. You're like dissing ice cream sandwiches at that. Point. No, yeah, I was. I was <laughs> just gonna eat it for a gag. We should have done. If I was thinking about it, I would have went and bought it just for this. But I didn't, you know. It, too much. It may be in the next episode. We'll do freeze dried food because I'm thinking about buying a freeze dryer. If you want to so, see us watch a freeze dry or eat a freeze dried, um, because apparently you can take Jolly Ranchers, stick them in there, and make them like crunchy, where you can chew them. Mm. I kind of want to buy one and try it. <laughs> How much are free that have to be expensive. I don't think they're cost that much. Not so, for just a little single use, at home use one. We we'll have to look into it. I mean, that sounds fun. I mean, they they make dehydrators. True, dehydrators aren't super cheap. expensive. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But anyway, <laughs> let's get back to this. Uh, All right, so really, I mean, I feel like just for this episode because it's a little bit different. We don't necessarily do episodes like this where. We have something that I feel like most people probably know about these, but there's a possibility that people out there don't know what MREs are. So I really think it's only right that we really just kind of go through the whole history. The whole history? I just think it's right. I watch a lot of YouTube channels that do history, like they'll just kind of go through the whole history of stuff. You know how many people are going to stop listening once you start reading the history? No, it's, I'll make it fun. I promise. I'll make it really fun. You I was to read the entire history of an MRE. Yes, and I am getting my stuff from Wikipedia, which probably wasn't the smartest thing. I mean, I could probably find a better source. That's going to take like 30 minutes to go through. No. <laughs> that's all I got. No. Here, this is mreinfo.com. That sounds like that's... God. No, hold on. Okay. All right. So, well, no, you know what? I want to go back to the Wikipedia one because that one had a little Jesus bit more. Christ. I'm sorry, guys. I should have prepared a little bit. I, I got boring th with this, too. <laughs> I got a little bit scared. All right, okay. You're about to make our audience go to sleep. All right, so we're going to start back in the old days. Oh, my God. <laughs> Don't sound so disappointed. We're about to learn some shit. We're about to lose people. This <laughs> might be the longest episode, but you know what? If you're watching Jeopardy and you want to know about the history of MREs, you're going to fucking know the answers. What the fuck do they ask about the history of MREs on the damn I guarantee, Jeopardy? I guarantee you now that we have spoken into existence, there's going to be a category on Jeopardy that is called the history of MREs. And you know what? When it's on there and you're beating your mom at Jeopardy like I always do, then you can I, now I'll know the whole history. If, if they do that, I will give you a fifty dollar bill. Well, because they $50. ain't gonna do it. I want a nice little crisp fifty dollar bill waiting <laughs> on my bed when I get home from work when it happens. We'll see <laughs> when, if it is. ever happens. They're gonna do the history of MRE. That's what no, it's gonna be called. Or not. And it's gonna it's gonna ask you questions. <laughs> they're gonna put that maybe in the history, but they're not gonna name a whole fucking category in the history of the MRE. They might. They might <laughs> now that this video is being made. Have you ever seen a video on YouTube that was called the history of MREs? This one can be now. We can be the first of I've something. Never there's two. <laughs> we've said it before. There's two million podcasts in the world. Have you ever? You know what sets us apart from those? Me taking a nap during. By this doing <laughs> no, 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 no. You're going to be really entertained. I promise. I'm good at. I'm good at. I've, I've been told I'm All good right. at presentations. I. This okay. Is totally going to freaking. No, this is going to fall good. asleep, including me. Get but... serious. This is about MREs. Okay. Okay. Good. The first U.S. soldier ration established by congressional resolution during the Revolutionary War consisted of enough food to feed a man for one day, mostly beef, peas, and rice. A few moments later, early MRE prototypes that involved freeze-dried and dehydrated foods were developed under Dr. Abdul Rahman. This is that, see, this is what I'm talking, Jeopardy. Remember the name Abdul, Dr. Abdul Rahman, who later received the, hold on, the meritorious civilian service award for his work four moments later the ration originally came in a dark brown outer bag enough <laughs> that was a killer audience with this halfway done <laughs> this is unbelievable i've been sitting here banging my damn head against the damn microphone i was i probably lost a fucking brain cell or two just listening to it 
Okay. <laughs> well, you just want to jump in then? I was trying to give you guys some Jeopardy clues. <coughs> Nobody wants to hear it. <laughs> all right. Well, I tried to give you the history of MREs. Basically, all you have to know is that this is what the government gives has. to our soldiers to eat while they're at battle. That's it is, all that matters. It is also given to people during times of like, like if a hurricane comes through. Well, I mean, yeah. But yeah. This is what they des this is what they designed. For <laughs> they probably give them the expired ones. Well, honestly, <laughs> they have an expiration date. Honestly, would not surprise me. Unfortunately, with the current <laughs> government, I thought the government's so crooked. I hope they don't. I would never listen to the FBI if you're watching. I don't think you do that. He said it. Not I right. don't give a fuck. FBI, <laughs> I really don't give a fuck. The FBI can fuck off as much as the government can. I really don't care. I mean, I mean, I'm listen. I'm looking forward to this. I'm not expecting this to be great, but. I feel like if I'm I... I'm expecting it to be awesome because I've tried one before. Okay. And it was pretty good. I, right. I tried the chicken. It was like a chicken and then it came with a buffalo sauce. Mm. It was pretty baller. I've never had one before. This but will be my first time. I tell you, them crackers, you better be ready to break your tooth. Because right. if you got a cracker in it, you're going to break your tooth. Right. <laughs> I yeah, promise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Motherfuckers is hard to rock. We got to make sure, you know, it's, this is warfighter recommended, yeah, warfighter I mean, tested, warfighter approved. These are... Us sitting here... That's a trademark? Us... Oh, you just said a trademark on our podcast? Yeah, it's okay. Uh, MREs are trademarked. Oh, shit. Arby's is trademarked. We don't... It's okay. Oh, you can say, you can say stuff. You, you, you can't just put this on a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> That's all that means. You can. Or you name your company MRE. That was going to be the next the, podcast idea. The but government it. trademarked MRE. Yeah. Why? Well, I don't know. They ain't um, making no money on it. Huh. Well, that I we know of. I, I, I have a story to tell you about how war works, but. Well, I, oh, know. yeah, never mind. I guess they are making pretty good money on it. But <laughs> I was going to say, well, I guess you give it to the other, other countries, they're war. fucking. <laughs> yeah, war is a racket. Read the book. All right, well, anyway, let's get into this. Let's, let's get let's into Let's open some up. So, I have a feeling they're going to be very hard to open, and I did not bring a knife. That's unfortunate. This is going to be a fun part of the video where we get you to see us struggle to open MREs. We're not warfighter tested approved. What is it? We're not warfighter recommended tested or approved. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. Oh, Darren, you're a beach. Open that Sunday stuff. Come on, man. All right, just rip it open. You're ready to go. Hawk strong. All right, so this is what you get. All right, it's a bag inside of a bag. <laughs> so this, so do you, you want to go through yours first? Just kind of read what the yeah. outer layers say, and then I'll go through mine. All right, yeah. So let okay. me, um, move oh, on the bag. Okay. Oh, you, had a, bag. you had a whole bag. I don't think I have one of those. This is like a whole ass fucking meal right here, dude. There's a lot of shit here. Man. <laughs> They're not fucking around. Right yeah, <laughs> my service menu pretty good. <laughs> okay, so we've got the beef goulash. Nice. Um... A nutrition? Oh, that's just the nutrition facts. Yeah, the vitamins and minerals of it. That's just a piece of cardboard. Well, it, it opens. Oh. I think that's just... I, well, I don't know, man. I, I think that's just... Well, see? It yeah, opens. Yeah. Yeah, I, don't I, think know. I, I think that was supposed to go, like, on something, and they just decided... Okay. Hey, okay. Anyways, this Sorry. single serving pouch is... The serving size is one pouch. It's only 240 calories. Can you believe that shit? Well, you gotta keep them. You gotta keep them. You gotta keep them in shape, man. You yeah, but you think they keep the, You think they keep the calories high? I don't though, need these forks. Well, mine didn't come with a spoon, so I assume mine. Oh, you need a fork. <laughs> well, I don't know. I haven't over, went through it all completely yet. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, you got chunky peanut butter. Nice. I'm assuming that's for a cracker. No, that should be. Yeah, I haven't got to it yet. Ooh, sugar cookies. Patriotic. Patriotic sugar cookies is none better in my opinion. I'm kind of excited for that. I, I like sugar cookies. Yeah. <laughs> I do too, man. I do too. Chocolate milk, cocoa powder. Nice. Oh, yeah. Little did we know we had to bring water with us. We should have known. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it says uh, directions for use allow water to just chemically purify and stay in 30 minute while I'm drinking alcohol. So I don't know if this, this will not sit well. That's all right. You don't have to eat everything. But before adding the powder, tear pouch at notch. Oh my god. And zip an open zipper. Add six ounces of hot or cold water. That's cool. Nice. To fill the line. Close zipper, shake, mix, consume properly within an hour. Single use. So yeah, once you get this open, it lasts for only an hour. 
Right. But it is naturally flavored, and this single thing of chocolate milk is 140 calories. So I don't know what the nutritional thing about that was. That must be the actual beef, I would assume. Right. So what mine came with is mine came with also a cheese pack. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I am going to need some water. Well, well, we'll do that here in a second once I go through mine. But it does have After, a heat pack. Take a little bit of a break. Did in fact get the indestructible spoon. They said that you could this spoon could be used in combat. To stab somebody. We're gonna test that out. Yeah, they say not to test not to test out not, in combat. No, they they say that you can bend it all the way around and it will not snap. Mm. That's what they say. That's that's a strong. This is supposed to be an indestructible spoon. You can take and you can smash a brick on it and it won't break, bend nothing. Mm. So it we'll, makes we'll definitely we'll go to the depth and check that out. Yep. We got some seasoning. We got iodized salt. We got fucking, I don't even know what the fuck that is. Mints. We've got, okay, I got to open the pack up. Yeah, so I just, <laughs> that's what I just opened, so I had it ready. I think everything else is sensitive. Right. This is gum. We've got, hey, we got beverage based lemon. Um, this is a latex-free moist palette. Uh, the salt. They come with pepper? They don't come with pepper. What the fuck? <laughs> what is this? They don't come with pepper. Hold on. They're visually impaired. Well, are you visually impaired? Lighthouse for built visually impaired. What the fuck is this? Well, let me open this up. Go ahead. I got one of those too. It's like napkins. It is. That's a napkin. Why would they say we're visually impaired with a napkin? <laughs> I don't what know. Fuck? Mine doesn't say. Mine doesn't say visually impaired. But anyways, yeah, we got all that. We got the. Um, we have strawberry jam. Mm -hmm. I like mm -hmm. strawberry jam. I like myself some strawberry jam. Oh, applesauce. Per nice. nice. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. That's good. That's good stuff. And then I assume. Cracker it seems softer than normal, or it's bread. Probably but yeah, bread. and then this is my goulash. All right, so that's yours. Yes. Mm -hmm. that sounds pretty good. I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh, fuck yeah, it does. We got right here chocolate chip toaster pastry. Nice. Ooh, that that's gonna be good. like I think that's gonna be like a um, pop tart. Lemon that's lime hard. flavored, no fruit juice, beverage based powder. Lemon lime. So. Oh, you got lemon lime. I only got lemon. Lime. Maybe I got lemon lime. Cheese spread. Let's put some cheese spread here. Crackers. Here's the crackers. Oh, that, that brother. It's firm. What I got you, bread. Like said, what you got <laughs> is not crackers because <laughs> this thing is firm. Awesome. <laughs> was really you were not fucking around when you said that about the crackers. I told you, dude. We got dehydrated granola with milk and blueberries. There is a way you can prepare it. I didn't. We'll, we'll get to that. Uh, looks like there's some. Just, geez, oh man. You got a heating pack too. Yeah, so we're gonna have to do this off off camera before we eat these. But this is what we'll. It, it doesn't take long to heat them up though. And then we have the pork sausage and gravy. Yours came in a box. Little here, yeah. There's a. Open the box, see what's inside there. It's gotta be another bag, right? Oh, uh, we can. <laughs> yes, we can. I was just reading this in the back. It has a whole thing. Oh. Just kind of telling people we're using them, what to, uh, how to eat them. Kind of yeah, here's just uh it's very it's all just liquid. Oh it's oh it's With got some like the, I figured it was like the gravy on the side. I didn't know it was all mixed together. Yeah, it's all mixed together. Huh. So that's that's mine. And then yeah, then I also got this whole thing too. We have uh salt, a moist towelette, sugar for that for that little lime juice. Coffee, the instant type. I didn't get coffee. What the fuck? <laughs> I like coffee. I'd be pissed if I was a battle and didn't get coffee. Creamer. Gotta have your creamer with the coffee. And I don't know if you got these with yours. These oh, are shit, these you are got matches. matches. These are matches. Damn, that's cool. No, I didn't get that one. Mine. So there you go. There's are there's some matches. So that's cool. And then here's the napkins. This mine does not say for the visually impaired. It just says <laughs> Lighthouse SFCA, which I'm assuming is San Francisco, California. Huh. And it looks like a self napkin. So that's mine, and then I also did get the indestructible fork and the or, uh, spoon, and then I guess it's I think this is maybe mints or gum. That's gum. Yeah. So I squeezed it. It's kind of squishy. Okay. So that's why we'll, we'll finish this whole thing off. So, okay. I think this is how we should do this. Um, we should do this. Go ahead and prepare this off 
camera well, and all well, there. What we can do is just go get the water and we could eat all of our sides or try all of our sides while we're waiting for our main course to heat up. We could do that too. Or prepare either or. We'll, we'll find see. out when uh, we get back. <laughs> yeah. All right, we'll be back in a second. Well, we figured it out. We got it uh, heating up. Mine's kind of like getting bubbly. I don't know if it's about to explode. <laughs> From the steam or what? Oh, it's about to explode. That's always good to hear. Yeah, mine's already in the packaging. I overfilled it already. I already messed up. Uh, it's all right. <laughs> so I just, rules are on there meant to be broken. So I just slide this in. Yeah, and just it. stick that some bitch right in there. Nice, dude. And then it will get very hot. That's yeah. why they gave the uh, the cardboard that opened. I'm just not using it because I'm just holding the top. That way, it just kind of keeps it kind of shut. We're supposed to leave it like this for 15 minutes, but I'm gonna I'm um, not gonna do that because of how hot this is not getting. This is getting pretty hot. It seems like all my heaters aren't working though. Let me say I don't. Oh yeah, it's, I'm starting to feel a little bit of warmth. Uh, look at mine. There you go. It's bloated from the heat. Mine are starting to feel. You didn't do anything to this. Oh, I just you just opened it, right? Shook it when I. Right. Put the water in. Okay, do that. But I don't know if the water or the shaking it did anything. I don't know. I don't know, it just kind of works. <laughs> I'm gonna say, I just put mine in there. And... So we'll see. We'll, we'll uh. It smells. The smell of this heating up just smells like melting plastic. Yeah, that's <laughs> always good, right? It says to keep this. It says to keep this inclined, so I'm gonna try everything else while this is heating up. Yeah, I'm just gonna any, put this on it, incline this on. Oh, I can do it up here. There we go. I'm gonna jump mine down on the bottom because like that. We'll wait. We'll kind of eat that last, I guess. I'm gonna clear this, clear this off. We'll try the coffee. I'm starting with the applesauce. Well, this is a hot. This is how you make your beverages. Oh, you got a beverage bag? I didn't get a beverage bag for my lemonade. What was, well, <laughs> what the fuck? Who drinks lemonade hot? Oh. I mean, you're, you're supposed to, this is for hot stuff. This is the hot beverage bag, my bad. So we'll, we'll t I'll maybe try this a different time, I'm thinking. Or maybe we'll add it in. Cause I don't know. <laughs> That's really good. What is that? <laughs> the applesauce. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. You like the applesauce? Uh -huh. Okay. Excuse me. We'll just uh, move all this, Dude. all the liquid. And we'll try this a different time. Our okay. soldiers. Our eats free baller food on the battlefield. Oh yeah. yeah. Here. Okay. Because uh, this applesauce is fucking killer. It's got the perfect amount of sweetness to it. Do you think maybe though that this is just maybe we don't have the highest quality of like we're not really trying to eat like super quality food? What do you mean? Like I mean like think about it like I'm not this isn't like I'm not trying to this isn't like Gordon Ramsay stuff. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So maybe it's just that we haven't had like super quality food. This is kind of like reminiscent of, of what we had. Think it's a lot better than store bought applesauce. Store bought applesauce kind of sucks. I make do. This I make do. Fire. Make do because of Mott's. Mott's makes some decent applesauce, but uh, all the rest are kind of terrible. And dude, I love this applesauce. This MRE must have known me. Think dude, so. I have chunky peanut butter. That's my favorite fucking peanut butter. Yeah, you and like five other people in the whole world like chunky peanut butter. <laughs> it's amazing. You struggle with the cracker? No, this is the chocolate toaster pastry, which is mm. just pop tart, I think, that they shoved in this thing. Mm. I'll tell you what, man. I have a knife there. Dude, this fucking this is just legit. Yogurt. just look up like a pop tart. Holy <laughs> shit! It looks a lot bigger than what, or smaller than what it was in the package. Yeah. Pretty good. Tastes just like a. Good. Don't get me wrong. You know? This fuck that they came with a lot of applesauce. You can tell you're really going into town over there in that <laughs> applesauce. Like, it's fucking good, dude. You're sucking that applesauce down. Hey, I love applesauce, but I love this applesauce a lot. We can get some rolling action here. Kind of push it up to the top. Hmm. Okay. I hope my thing's cooking over there. And it looks like normal applesauce too. Might yeah. be a killer. I mean, I'm, just, I'm legit just eating a pop. That's just straight up just applesauce, man. This is just straight up pop tart. I feel like. 
Good though. I mean, don't get me wrong. Sorry for the quietness. You can tell the MRE was good. Mm hmm. <laughs> okay, so far, not necessarily looking to the crackers we're talking about, but the potato is gone. Gone. Good, good job. Good job. It is all oil. It all is applesauce. I love that fucking applesauce, dude. I'm looking at shit. All right. I gotta try these crackers now. I these crackers cookies. I slam this on the table. They not break. <laughs> they won't break. <laughs> Don't break your tooth before they break. I'm extremely excited Ooh. to try this. I got a little bag of cookies. Look at that. How are they? Fucking good. Wanna try one? I'll try one before I try this cracker. I'll tell you that. You did not. Oh, look at that. This is in the shape of an American flag. What was yours in the shape of? You did not even look. You shot. Mine was a seal. Oh. You have a seal? Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. You got one in the shape of a bell. That's a nice cracker. That's a nice uh, cookie. It's important. It's not the greatest cookie, obviously, but. Oh, I don't know, good. Well, now they're starting to. This cracker's crumbling a little bit. Maybe they did break. I'm good luck with that. All right. Mm. The cookies are fucking fantastic. You like the cookies, huh? You like yeah. the applesauce and you like the cookies. Darren, these are crumbling. Really? Yeah, these are crumbling. Why well, is that an old ass MRE back in the day, then? This is a big ass cracker. That was, my nickname. that was my nickname in high school. <laughs> big ass cracker. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you get with that cheese spread? Huh? Did you get you got cheese spread with yeah. that? Yeah, this is what I'm opening now, it's cheese spread. Alright. I'm ex I'm actually now a little bit more excited about this than I was. Oh yeah, this is breaking off easy. A little messy. I got a little messy moist piece of flatbread, it looks like flatbread. Probably what you eat with your Thing. Peanut butter and jelly. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, I did forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, peanut butter and jelly. This is this cracker is not exactly the state. It's not great. On salty. Okay, let's try. Ooh, that cheese spread is rough. This I think is not going to be good. Mm -hmm. mm. All right. The fuck with that? Mm. <laughs> you don't like it. No. What yeah, was that? What did you just eat? Peanut butter. <laughs> oh. Wait a minute. That's just straight up the. That's a piece of flatbread, it looks like. Oh, but you put peanut butter on it. Mm -hmm. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. It's good. It's just a little dry. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I dropped my cheese. I dropped the cheese. God damn it. God damn it. Add some wasted cheese. Put some jam on this. Yeah, I'm Strong not eating jam, man. You can't go wrong. That sucks. This cheese is. It's is some thick boy cheese. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then this peanut butter jelly. Okay, there we go. Down the hatch, everybody. Mm. Oh. Cracker's not good. <laughs> it is tasteless. But the cheese isn't bad. I mean, it's not. I'm not a huge cheese guy. Um, I don't like cheese too much, but. I said it was uh, ch uh, chunky peanut butter. It's in fact not. Oh, it's that's disappointing. Smooth peanut butter. And it's smooth peanut butter. That's more disappointing. Most people would probably be happy if they found out it wasn't. I'll try. I'll try to eat as much of this as I can. I'm gonna try and eat everything. All of everything. Oh, there's not, some chunks, okay. I'll save some for after. I'll save the other cracker for you. There's like no way. You can eat it. <laughs> you want to try it? No, I'm good. <laughs> you want to try the cheese spread, at least? I'll try the cheese spread. The cracker just isn't, if you have the cheese on it, it's not bad. But like, try some of this cracker when you get a chance. Whoever you're making me a peanut butter and jelly, okay? <laughs> Well, I'll eat all. Tell you, they don't give you enough bread. Because I still got a lot of bean bread and a lot of jelly left. <clears throat> well, make do. Figure it out yourself, buddy. Good source of protein. So. I mean, you can you can use the peanut butter on, like, you could have you put the peanut butter on the cookies. If you really wanted to. Make do. And jelly, really. If you really wanted to spice things up. You could get your buddy 
has a cracker. Like, I'm gonna put some peanut butter on this cracker, buddy. You don't want your crackers? I'm gonna put some peanut butter on that cracker over there. You got it. You want some peanut butter? <laughs> no, 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 no. On your cracker? <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, I'm just struggling with the cheese over here. For those that are watching on the video, you can see I am, it's not going great for this <laughs> cheese. It's very thick and just gelat. It's just not coming out very good. Cheese is strong, bro. <laughs> it's not bad though. I mean, it's not terrible cheese. I've had worse. So what would you say is like sharp cheddar, I'm guessing? Yes. I'm only gonna eat one of the crackers. I ain't gonna eat the other one though. Okay. We couldn't even give our boys our beans. They're giving our boys over there unsalted crackers. <laughs> What's the deal? Now I see why they give me a drink. For <laughs> real. I mean, this is the this is the most unsalty cracker. It's a little moist for some reason. That's concerning. <laughs> <laughs> why is it moist? There's like a glisten on it. Weird. But like, literally just tastes like cardboard. Yep. But I mean, I still break your teeth. No, these aren't that bad. These aren't that hard. Oh, really? No. Go. Well, it's weird because I, I slammed it against the table and it just, it didn't break a lot, but it breaks off real easy. That must just mean the packaging's baller. Yeah. Been a lot of silence and eating. Sorry for this a little bit. Well, I'm just gonna keep this cheese and crackers here for you. We got granola, dehydrated got granola. <laughs> yeah, well you can dig into your main course and shit. You got your main course ready, <laughs> dig into it. I'm gonna be ready though. It said 10, 15 minutes on the package. We're out living, since we started the podcast. Did you start it when we started the podcast? Mm -hmm. We're like right, right, right before, it's probably fine. It's a little warm. Yeah, it said to do that. <laughs> well, it did say to turn it around, but it did say to need to get even cooked. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! What? <laughs> I can't open the fucking thing. <laughs> yeah, I'll move it around a little bit. And that's it. Oh, Jesus, that took a second. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> All right. Now we're cooking. I'm excited for this granola. For some reason, I think this is going to be good. There's like dehydrated milk in there, which is always good. Hey, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. I got to try it. I like granola. Not too bad. Oh, shit. I'm going to fuck with it. Looks about a cup. Mm. Oh. You're supposed to put water in this. Pop that. Yeah, it's like oatmeal, I guess. Yeah, allow water just allow water just chemically purified to stand 30 minutes before adding to granola cereal. You don't even need to do it. You don't even need to do it if you didn't want to. But it's good. I'm not gonna eat this whole thing. It's a huge package, but it's good. I like it. You didn't like it though? Mm -hmm. Oh you did, but you Oh yeah. Oh, oh, you said you could fuck with that. Yeah, I said I could fuck with that. I thought you said I'd fuck that. <laughs> no, I said I could fuck with that. Okay. Because that's actually really good. So, so far, I liked everything other than the cracker and the cheese spread. Not my not my thing. I liked everything. I didn't um, like bread at first, but then I got some jelly on it. Oh, boy. Because you got peanut butter and dry bread. <laughs> You're going to have a dry mouth. Right. But you add a little bit of jam to it, and it makes a whole lot better. There's a little bit of jam to it. Well, I'm going to... Cleanse my palate here. Yeah, nothing better to cleanse your palate with than a cancer stick. <laughs> it's a real quick cancer stick to cleanse the palate. I'm letting mine heat up because I want it to be warm. I want to give, give it, it a fair, the fair chance. Fair chance. Well, I'm just being cold, I don't think you'll get the fair chance. I and mean, in battle, you ain't really going to pay attention, but when we ain't in battle, then we need to give it a fair opportunity. Yeah, we're going <laughs> to Yeah, okay, that's fair. I, know, I like that. That's a fair, that's a fair thing. So I'm going to like let it. I'm gonna hold it tight like I did before. Did it start bubbling? Oh, I'm bubbling again. That kind of hold the moisture or the steam in there. Right. And keep it warming up. But 15 minutes, 
not long enough. Now, I'm sure you guys out there battling, if you're watching our podcast, we well, probably did something wrong. Dude, they're laughing at us. I, could, I couldn't fucking open the granola. <laughs> I used my teeth. I could. I don't. Have, I don't have nail. I don't have a knife on me. I. Well, I they obviously they have knives on them though, so that probably well, helps them too. Yeah, but I don't have. I don't have mine on me. And I don't have nails, so I'm over here struggling how to use my teeth. Not my brightest. Not my strongest looking moment. And in fact, the spoon is pretty durable. Snap. Not durable enough. <laughs> so the indestructible spoon that you've been hearing of. Dude, they probably used to make them indestructible. That's why I only did the tip. That way I still have a spoon to eat with. They probably mm -hmm. made them indestructible. At one, well, you, according to you, you could use this fucking spoon as a slingshot and the cracker as a launching thing and not kill people with it. That's what I, I had. I didn't have the spoon. I've heard reviews though that and seen videos I don't know what spoon they were using, but they, they definitely snapped. But this is the fucking Joe Biden spoon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you were using any other president's spoon? This was the this is the Joe Biden spoon. Mm -hmm. I mean, I listen. I I uh, but uh, you know, I'm excited for it. I don't know if mine's even. I don't even know if mine's cooking. If I'm gonna be completely honest with you, I'm going with mindset that kind of fucking builds that moisture and gets it all warm and shit. I can't believe yours. Let me check mine because mine's. I've been squeezing mine sealed. Not it. doing the same thing as yours. I got a feeling. It's got to be warm now. Oh, it's warm. Never mind. Yeah, I'm feeling it. Just squeeze the top of it if you want to get it even cut. Was really clamped down? Yeah, that's what I did with mine. Okay. Just kind of clamp down, hold it with one hand. Two okay, hands we'll just do that. And just like fucking, I jostled my water around a little bit. I don't know how much water is actually still in here, but. <laughs> oh, I, I just didn't know because mine wasn't doing what yours was doing, but now, now I'm feeling it. It's cooking a little. I'll just. Really, really clamp this on here. Here's what I will say, though. No matter what this, I, what this is brought up. I mean, I understand why MREs are a thing. Like I said in the beginning, you know, you can't have cooks out there cooking. Um, it's too dangerous, and you got to get these meals to them quick because they got to eat. Yeah. But I will say this: LeBron James does not deserve a private chef more than the soldiers do. Exactly. And that's my problem. I'm not saying we should hire a private, but think about how many private chefs. Would actually do that, just out of just a lot, just out of the the you know. I feel like some would. Well, Gordon Ramsay cooks when the troops come back. I just think, you know, I just uh, our soldiers deserve a lot better in the country in general, and food police are their worries, of course. I mean, they got to stay fit anyway. But food is very important. But I just think when you really think about how crazy it is that, like I said, LeBron James can have a private chef, but not the soldiers is kind of wild. Our president has a private ship there. But a soldier's soldier don't. Don't. Ow, this is fucking hot. Yeah, that's why they give you a they little sleeve. <laughs> they don't mess around. So this is for <laughs> Yeah, they don't mess around. I didn't get a sleeve. Oh. Unless it was in the bag and I didn't get it out. Oh, well, it just looks like a piece of cardboard. That's probably where it's at. Yeah, I only got a little sleeve. No, nope, I don't. Still warm. Dude, this would keep the soldiers warm too when it's cold outside. Like their hands are cold, they pop this motherfucker out. So it's a multi fucking, not even just food, it's just a multi tool. Yeah. Really? Well, but the, I mean, that is one good thing that the military does is make sure they everything they give you is a tool of some sort. I mean, this is like a hand one. Right. Well, I mean, that's. You know, even through the cardboard. <laughs> I mean, this this, is, this <laughs> is warm. I mean, it's definitely warm. I didn't think mine was warming up because I was real close to it, but it's definitely warming. That's, that is hot shit. Well, what do you want to do from here? You want to take a little bit of another break and then we'll try the main course again? Yeah, or? we'll take a little break and then we'll jump back, back into here, bud. All right, man. Oh, here's here's my message. All right, so, so now. While I was off camera, oh. I did I did make the chocolate beverage. I grabbed a little bit of water. I really wanted to try it. So let's just let's do that real quick. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let's try the beverage while we're finishing our meals cooking. Which has <laughs> been cooking for a while, so they'll definitely be warm enough. We should have brought a glass. Yeah, I know. If I would have thought no, about this. Try it. If I would have thought about this, I would have brought a glass or a cup or something. You got anything over there you can try then? What's this? How long is this put cupping out here? For a while. Well, I don't want that. <laughs> what about that shot glass? Is that anything in it? Oh, it absolutely does. Oh. Has some old. I, I'm good. Thank you, though. I'll take your word for whatever you say here. 
Good? Dude. Really? <laughs> that smells up. It's, good. it's just, it's so it's basically, is it like hot chocolate, but just not hot? Yeah, it's cold chocolate. <laughs> basically what oh, it is. There you go. Just do as simple as that. You don't need no fucking milk. That's <laughs> good. You don't need, do you make your hot chocolate with milk or with water? Milk. Really? Yeah, I used to do water, but then I discovered milk. You we'll discovered milk. Another game changer back in the day. You discovered milk. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Interesting. Well, no, I discovered milk with it. <laughs> we've, we've never, at the house, we never really used milk for it. I'm not a huge fan, personally, of hot chocolate. Myself, it's all right, but I, I, I like hot chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. All right, so we're going to try this thing. Yeah, let's fucking do it. All right, let's try this thing. You'll notice I like it if I shut up and just start to start bowing down on it. Yeah, Darren doesn't care about video content at that point. He's just like, I, I, boom. <laughs> Dude, I, I ended up with B-dubs earlier for like... Got some steam rolling off that son bitch. Four people, that. dude. I hope that picks up on camera. There's some steam. I don't know how... There's still... Mine's still a little bit cold on one side, but not so bad. I'm just going to pop mine. Mine is too, but that's okay. I'm going to pop mine in there real quick. Hopefully it's still going to be warm. Just get just a nice little quick... Quick warmth on it. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna pop in this. Your hot chocolate. Smart. <laughs> this, this is good thinking. This is good thinking right there. And I get that's straight up hot chocolate. <laughs> Easy. I'm sure that's probably what it's meant for, but probably for multiple uses. My God, well, see, in mine, I got a hot because it was coffee. I got. Mm -hmm. A bag for it. Bag for it. But I guess if you don't, you can use that. So what's yours? What was yours again? Goulash. Goulash. I don't even know what that is. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't know either. You just wanted to try it. it smells like a chili. If there's people out there watching us right now. Like, you want to go with goulash? It smells like a barbecue chili. Like a pulled pork chili. Well, it has like carrots in it and weird some shit like that. Yeah, it doesn't look. It doesn't look super pleasant. That doesn't matter. <laughs> presentation. There's no. There's no presentation points on this it's one. It's like dried meat. It's like beef jerky-ish kind of situation. Right. Huh? Down the hatcher. Oh my god. You like it? It's good. Oh yeah. Look at that. <laughs> That's fucking good. The MREs are surprising. Mm. Some spots are hot. This is a heat. Right. <laughs> so they're just, they're, you know what? I went into this, and I'm going to be completely honest with you, not expecting the greatest food. Because when you hear it like MRE, like, oh, it's just, 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 just get it ready. Just, 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 just open it and eat it. This has got like shredded beef in it. Mine feels pretty much, pretty much warm. Oh, boy. Mm. Yeah, it's just straight up gravy. Gravy and beef. Let me see. It's just... Oh, shit, yeah. Basically, it looks like what you put on biscuits and gravy. <laughs> I mean, is essentially what it looks like. It's just... Let's hope this is warm. I guess it is. Oh. Oh, yeah. That's just, that's just, that's just biscuits and gravy. That's a good breakfast meal right here. Wake up in the morning, get your MRE. I hope that and for as little as calories as this has, it comes with a lot of fucking food. It really does. Oh, put some salt in this. You baller them. I just see some good too. Boy. This is where my engineering skills have to come in. Try some salt here. Yeah, put a little salt in too. Put a little salt. I gotta tell you, like I said, coming into this. I'm just, well, I'm putting all the salt in there. The, the goulash is, is seasoned well. Came out fast. What? I'm a pepper freak. Wish it would have came with some pepper. Yeah, some pepper, but this would have been baller too. Because I love pepper. But listen, if you're, you're on the other on the battlefield, <laughs> you're happy you're eating. Yeah, yeah, you don't care about fucking pepper and seasoning. You know, they don't, yeah. So. You put all this salt in it, you're going to have some high sodium levels. <laughs> Bro, I <laughs> eat ramen for like two years straight every day. I'm gonna recommend it. <coughs> I wouldn't put a little, I was, don't put all the salt in there. No, I'm not. I don't want too much salt. I'm not a salt fan. 
I'm not really a fan of salt. They say it enhances the flavor, but I'm not. It is. It's a flavor enhancer, 100%. I'm not one to grab salt over yep. pepper. You know how yeah. I know that? Because that non salty cracker I just had. Oh, yeah. Dude, you could have took your salt and put it on there. It'd been salty. <laughs> Missed my opportunity. I forgot I had it, to be honest. You can also try that on a cracker. This game is so much more than I thought. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I could. Do you want that other cracker? Yeah. Or might. Where'd it go? It's up here. I'm going to put it on the ground. I shouldn't have put that salt on there. Ruined it? It made it taste good. Wow, you ruined it. No, it still tastes good, just not as, as good, good as it did. Mother of all that's... We're going to have to do some deep cleaning. <laughs> we're going to have ants all running up in this. It's okay. I'm going to get my chocolate milk out. Dude, that's what I should do. My uh, one chocolate milk. Oh, oh yeah, crunch some cracker in that bitch. Now you're getting creative. You know, you got to get creative. Now, this has been sitting in the warmer. It's kind of warm, but not really. My warmer kind of lost its warmth. Yeah, I feel like it's, it's limited use. But it's still kind of warm now. Although I said I said the opposite earlier. I was like, oh, it's probably for multiple use. Now I'm like, oh, yeah, that's probably limited. Really only makes sense. Once it hits the air, it's going to lose it again. Probably have to re-add water to it. I feel you. Oh, you're chugging it. <sighs> that was really good. <laughs> <laughs> I just heard it. I didn't even... I didn't know what you were doing. I thought you were just... And I heard it through the earphones. Yeah, I, I couldn't help myself. I started on it and it was warm. <laughs> it made me kind of warm. <laughs> that heater worked a lot better than I thought it would. <laughs> so, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I didn't know I eat these every day. I didn't know what I was going to expect. You know, because, like I said, when you hear about MREs, and you think, well, it can't be that great. But honestly, these aren't that bad. These are pretty good. But you know what? The government's feeding our soldiers well. Mm -hmm. Good thing. And Is honestly, there... it's starting to fill me up, believe it or not, the whole pouch. Well, I imagine. This is a lot of food. A lot of food. And I guarantee I eat most than more than a typical soldier does, I'm sure. Because like you said, they got to keep their endurance and shit. So they can't be no, I had too a... hard. Right. But. I mean. I give it. I want to say a 7 <laughs> out of 10 rating. Oh, we're rating it? Yeah. Oh, I didn't think about that. Maybe it's 7 out of 10. I think there's a fair 6, 7 out of 10 somewhere in there. I, I think all of it, though. Mine's a 6. But that's <laughs> just because the cheese spread is really bad. Oh. You got hot chocolate. I got lemonade and. <laughs> I'll do the lemonade and coffee tomorrow. and I'm going to try to remember to film it. Maybe we'll put it in the podcast this time. You didn't do it with the pictures in the last one. That's all right. I'll remember this time. But maybe, maybe I'll remember. Or maybe you'll remember. That was good. <laughs> that was weird. That's weird. That was good. I freaking demolished that goulash. What were you expecting when we came into this? Um, Processed. I was expecting it to taste very processed. No, see, that's what people see. And in fact, it did not. Processed food is what we eat most of the time, more than likely. Yeah, but like, you know. When you think about it, like, when you go to McDonald's, like today we went to B Dubs, there was definitely some stuff. I have matches you could have used. Oh, yeah. Wherever they went. I feel like I took them over here. Well, you just stole them without me even knowing. But, uh, like, when you think about, like, B Dubs, we were definitely probably eating some stuff that was processed in some way. They're not exactly the healthiest for you. It was still processed in some way. But, you know, you gotta keep your soldiers in shape. There you go. True warrior. I feel like I'm in the fifties. <laughs> we need to bring back, get rid of lighters. Yeah, right. Now these matches are interesting. You would think they would be like waterproof, right? They're not. No. These but matches are these... designed especially for damp climates, but they are they will not light when wet or after long exposure to several weeks to very damp air. Put waterproof matches in that. There's matches out there that civilians get. They can light underwater. <laughs> well, that costs too much money. Oh, fuck that. <laughs> That's if, probably their excuse. If, if you're in the middle of like a very cold climate, like in Russia, and you pull these out, they ain't gonna do shit. That's topically relevant. 
In yeah. Russia, who knows? Like, if you're in Russia, these ain't gonna do shit. No, probably not. Because you drop them once, you're fucked. Now, if you have waterproof ones, you'd be good to keep warm. Now, this could make or break a person. Make a person die or live. Very critical. And they should all come with matches. All well, MRAs should have matches in them. Or at least something. Like if you're a soldier, you probably know, you know, you probably, if you needed, you really needed to, you could probably figure out how to make a fire to keep yourself alive without a match. They've got the whole friction thing with a stick, but that just takes so long. <laughs> take well, if it's survival, <laughs> you're going to do whatever it takes. Yeah. Well, I'll just sit there. <laughs> you would just give up. I'm fat and lazy, man. <laughs> well, if you were a soldier, you wouldn't be. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got to think who these are going to. You're not going These to are going to the badass motherfuckers. That's where they going. Yo. Not wrong. Not wrong. All right. Let's do some gum action here. So, yeah. The last thing is gum. We probably should have left, like, the toaster pastry and the applesauce for last. And then, well, the gum for very last, of course. Mm -hmm. Big red. Big red. No, I hope. Cinnamon. I hope this is the same. They, they, gum. they don't even get mint to them boys and girls. That's good. <laughs> I'm gonna say I don't like mint. All right over there. Man, no, I'm not a fan of mint gum. This is good. This gum's good. <laughs> really good. Not very much, but you chew gum, huh? You chew gum sometimes. Don't chew gum. Yeah, I haven't in a while. I was wondering if this was like that. What's that lucky stripe? But it's like zebra stripe, I think is what it's called, actually. Oh, yeah. It was like 10 seconds and it's gone. Dude, I used to take a whole bunch of them, open them all up, shove them all in my mouth in one. My mom was kicking my ass. <laughs> yeah, well, don't, yeah, you, you know, shouldn't be opening all up the gun. Man, this lasts a long time. Eat. But mine's still very potent, just like I put it in my mouth. Mine's gone. I'm not too chewing up. <laughs> yeah, I'm moving away from the microphone. I'm sorry if I was chewing into the microphone. Apologies. No, well, mine's still very much there. Well, maybe mine's mine's there just slight. I'm just not a big fan of gum anyway. I'm not either, but I'm gonna give it a try. But I'll tell you this. Oh, look at this gum, very good. Overall, I gotta tell you, I'm pleasantly surprised with the MREs. The MREs are <laughs> killer. I mean, I did not know what to expect. I wish there was more. But I'm a fat person, so <laughs> <laughs> I I just I just didn't expect to like it. And I do. So there's that. <laughs> I mean there could be a future MREs if we can find out where to get them. <laughs> I don't even know where we got these from. My grandpa gave them to me, so you know, who knows? I'm Maybe sure you Amazon. Can, I was gonna say I'm sure you can order them. Yeah, here's some here's some you can order from like grocery.com. They come in like big boxes. Oh, you can buy them online now, because they're not usually commercially available. But you know, there's, there's always stores out there that'll, that'll buy them. Yeah. Or you know, that, that have. But what are the military sur or the surplus stores? Army surplus stores. That's they what we were trying them. to think of the other day. Yeah, that's it. That was what they would probably have them. Probably. So. I went to an army surplus store before. They're pretty cool. I didn't buy nothing, obviously, but it's pretty cool. We went. I, I think I had a lot of stuff in there. I think I went to one when I went to Gallenberg last, and again, yeah, didn't buy anything. There used to be one over in, um, where'd Gabe live? Gabe? Yeah. Batesville. Where he used to live. Mm -hmm. Franklin County? County? Yeah, but what part? I don't know. A little small town outside of Brookville. There used to be one there. Well, the point is, is if you want to try yourself an MRE, do it. Look it up. <laughs> you can try it. Oh boy, because honestly they're not that bad, and you know, with the way things are nowadays, with that, you know, supply chain, yes, yeah, supply idea. chains and trees, impossible, uh, <laughs> impending war, nuclear warfare, always knocking around the corner. You know, it might not be a bad idea to buy yourself some because these will last for a while, and you don't have to keep them cool, you don't have to really cook anything, and even if you do. It's very minimal cooking. You just put it in a little packet and heat it up. And I don't even think you have to do that in order to eat it. You probably could eat it cold, you know, just straight up if you want to. You don't know why you would want to for some of those. I mean, maybe it's not for all of them. The ones we got, we 
put them in a little heat packet. But he, like I said, even if you did, it's pretty much like hand warmers. You just warm them up, you know, put some water in there and it warms up. I, I had a bit of mine when it was cold because there were a few spots it was cold. It was still good. Yeah, so I mean, I feel like you could eat these cold if you really want, wanted to, but... I mean, so, if you really have to, do it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, this is, honestly, though, like I said, I, I went into it not thinking they were going to be good. I haven't really heard them. I knew what MREs were, but I didn't really have any expectations. But if even if I did, they, these, this blew it out of the God, excuse me. Blew it out of the water. Oh, yeah, for sure. So, all in all, I give it, like I said, a solid 6 out of 10. I give it a 7 out of 10. You know, so there you go. There's our another another food one. This one was a little bit different because we got them, and I, I think we both kind of expected to just like not like everything. Yeah. And then we <laughs> I started eating stuff, and we're like, oh, this isn't bad. I guess I'm going to finish it. <laughs> but like I said, the only thing I had a problem with was the cheese spread. I'm not a cheese fan, and I'm a cracker. Well, cheese, not salty. So, huh? Let me see that cheese. <clears throat> I'm the real judge on cheese because you your man over here don't like cheese. I do. Well, yeah, no, I don't like cheese. Only on things, not by itself. And not on a cracker, that's for sure. Without like some pepperoni or some shit. That's thick. That's what I said. It's so thick, that's what it was hard to get out. <laughs> that's where if you had a knife, slice yeah. it off, put it on there. That could stick in your fucking warmer with your freaking <laughs> meal. <laughs> yeah, maybe. It's not like it's terrible cheese. It doesn't taste terrible. It's sharp cheddar though, right? I don't know cheese, so I, when I say when you I said think it's like a mild. I was gonna say when you said is that a sharp cheese, I just said yes because I was like I don't know. I mean I guess well, so. Sharp cheese normally has a more um, sharp dense cheese flavor. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't know. I Here's just uh, this. This is more mild cheese flavor. It is very chunky though. It is it's very thick. thick. It's not terrible though if you're Honestly, a fan. If you're a fan of cheese, it's not <laughs> terrible. It's pretty hard cheese, man. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say I'm not. I just don't like it. it's too much for me. That's why when you said sharp, I was like, well, it's too much for me, so yes. <laughs> I should have said, no, it's light cheddar for me. Yeah, it's like more like mild cheddar. <laughs> I don't want to even try sharp. That's mild. I don't want to try Dude, sharp cheddar is my favorite. I don't like cheese at all. I like, like, I you know, like, I like mozzarella cheese. That's but I'm not light a, cheese. Compared to what I like, I like American cheese. cheese. I like stinky cheese. Oh, God. What about sharp cheddar? <laughs> stinky cheese takes the cake on rich. It's yeah, really oh, rich. Well, I don't <laughs> like blue cheese. But Ooh, blue, blue cheese is fantastic. Oh. That's something that the fridge your parents gave me. I haven't even gotten to it. I forgot about it. Well, now. You, should, you should have got to it. It's still good. I'll eat it. Well, you know, hey, try it. I love blue sometime. cheese. Blue cheese is fucking amazing. Do we have garlic in the house? I think so. We'll run in. I'm going to check. Real quick, keep, keep uh, everything running. I do that, do that, don't worry. Yeah, I? keep everything running because Bob and gonna gave all the social media <laughs> out. While you're doing this, I got scratched. This was, was like a long time sitting. <laughs> four, this was like four or five weeks ago that we what was it on the Diablo challenge? It was yeah. our last food challenge. <laughs> it was like yeah, like over a month ago. Yeah, it was a long time ago that Darren said, "Oh, he didn't last as long as me." I don't even remember now why this is a thing, but I just remember he had to do a punishment. I think it was because uh, whoever cracked first and drank water first. Or milk or something to reprieve themselves from the heat that the Di Harvey's Diablo sandwich gave you. They had to be punished. Darren lost and said, at first we had like he was going to sing and then he backed out on that one. Which is just a shame, really. And now he said, I'm going to eat a whole clove of garlic on a podcast. And he's yet to do it. And he said he's going to be doing it like the, every single episode that we've done. Besides the last two. He was like, oh yeah, this will be the one. Like we were gonna do it on the pizza one. It would have been a great one to do for the pizza one, but he for we forgot. And I just now remembered it because he said something about not getting to the blue cheese. And so now hopefully he will eat this. But in case we don't, gotta go ahead and get to our social media. So thank you for watching. I hope you like, you comment, you subscribe if you're listening on audio. Thank you. Make sure you rate us five stars on Spotify. Make sure you listen, turn the notification bells on for both. Uh, you can follow my personal Twitter at djdub00. You can follow us on uh, TikTok, which is, we don't have to do it. No. We were just on TikTok. You're not getting away with this. Oh, you do have it. Follow us on TikTok. No. <laughs> oh, 
follow us on TikTok, the Not Double D one. Podcast One. Um, you can follow us on Instagram, the Double Underscore D Underscore Podcast. Um, you can email us at, at the Double D Podcast One Two Three at Gmail dot com. And uh, if you want, if you just oh, Darren, go ahead and give our Snapchat. I can't take that away from you. If you just love me, grab a snap. Darren, one, one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. So to end this episode, we are going to see the clove of garlic. I want you to, I want you guys to understand that's a whole as whole clove of garlic. Well, it's it's a smaller one because the bigger ones are all fucking rotting. Well, that's great. Go in there and look. No, I believe you. I'm just saying that's great to think that now you're putting the unrotten one in your mouth. What? It's good. See, you bought. Did you buy this garlic just for this challenge? No, I bought this garlic five months ago. I cooked with it. Oh my god, five months ago. <laughs> it's still good though. Okay, it's still good. We're still good. It's still good. I tried. I put my tongue on the end of it. All right. Well, go see. ahead. I want you want me to give you a countdown. What are we doing on time for the audio? Twenty-one minutes. Oh, we got nine minutes. That's but, plenty of time. Man, I tell you. Any last words? I always thought that these would taste similar to onion. No. It does not. No. And I put garlic worse. on everything, so I'm gonna like it. See, I'm not a huge garlic guy. I, I put garlic on every, when now I have garlic powder. I use that motherfucker. I'm a huge <laughs> onion boy. I love onions. I can eat onions raw. Like if someone's slicing up onions, I'll take some onions. But he does. garlic, yeah, I do. I just eat onions raw. It's weird. But I, I don't. I'm not a huge fan of garlic. Not my favorite flavor profile. But I will say this: garlic, with, like gar- with garlic salt or something on like a pizza or something's pretty decent. Garlic bread. Garlic bread. It's good. I'm very picky about my garlic bread, which is weird. Really? Like, I don't like the Texas toast garlic bread. Oh, I mean, yeah. But that's the one that's most popular, at least here at our house. <laughs> at my mom's house growing up. All right, so, uh, like I said, any last words before you, uh... Simply, I'm gonna get a spit ready. Oh, boy, yeah. You probably should. Thank you, I like I said. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. I'm spitting that shit out. <laughs> I am not. I don't blame you. I'm not podcast. I'm not gonna try to get you to, to do... Anything else? This is just your punishment. This is the honor. Okay. Honor my word. One. We're going to go on go. Uh Okay. One, two, three, four, five, go. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, there you go. Chew on it. Oh, he's, it's not, not as bad as of a punishment as we thought, huh? You've been putting it off for all these weeks and you actually enjoy eating raw garlic? Huh? He swallowed it. Not that bad, huh? It's as bad as the thought. Oh, Jesus. We've been putting it on for months. I remember back when I was a kid and garlic was hot. Yeah. That just tastes like horseradish. Yeah. Or radish. Isn't that what? I love fucking horseradish. Now, radishes. I love radishes. Radishes I like. I'm not Honestly, right I think I'm a fan of raw garlic. Jesus. Holy shit. This is the dumbest. <laughs> That's penalty. awesome. This is so dumb. My breath probably stinks, but god damn, this is actually pretty good. The dumbest punishment ever. <laughs> no heat, no drink, did not drink one bit during the process. Should have made you sing. And I'm still sitting. Should have made you sing. No, oh, well. You live and learn. I want more. Well, I think I'm eat me another clove. I thought you said all the rest were. No, there's another little piece in there. Oh, this motherfucker. I'll probably eat me a little clove after a podcast. <laughs> All right, well, like I said, thank you for watching. I know this one was a little bit of a different one. I hope it was still enjoyable to watch. Hope you learned something during I am, our... I am fool. I tried to let you guys learn about MREs in the beginning, um, but old boy over here got sick of it, so you, you, can, blame, you, that you can blame me. You want to go back to it? Because I can go back to it. Really. No. So, real quick, we can go back. Where did we leave off last? I don't know. We'll just start here at the Let's ongoing go all development. Let's go to the end. <laughs> The MRE has been the continuous development Thank since you its for introduction the in 1990. Podcast. And we'll oh, see you next time on the next episode. A water activated. <laughs>